Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, February 25th, 2023. And we are live on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm looking at an ad. <laughs> Let me get through that. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you guys get the ads too when, when it first starts. I don't know why I, I get them. <laughs> but they gotta throw it in there, I guess. I don't know. Um, let me see if I can straighten this out a little bit. Oops, I made it straight and then crooked. <laughs> so it is time for date night with Lisa. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. I hope you guys had a great day. It was yucky, yucky, yucky here. Um, not snowing, but raining and cold. So we went from 80 degrees to, I think today was high of 50. So it was a little chilly. I know some of you guys are like uh, really, really cold with snowstorms. I was looking at some pictures on Facebook of some of you guys who were snowed in with blizzards. And my daughter texted me this morning and said it was snowing. And she lives near um, Washington, D.C. And uh, she said it was snowing up there. And, I, and she's going out because tomorrow's her birthday. She's going to be 30 years old. So... Um, they were having a little birthday celebration for her tonight, and she said a few people haven't weren't able to come. I don't think because of the weather, but I don't know. But she, she's all upset because <laughs> they were going to have a big party for her birthday. But um, anyway, welcome everybody. Let me say hello. Hey Beth. Hey Jody. Hey Deborah. Hey Sue. Hey Cynthia. Hey Deborah. Hey Julie. Hey. Terry, hey Susan, hey Sharon, hey Tony, hey Ina, hey Francis, hey Robin, hey Deborah, hey Lynn, hey Minda, hey Kathy. All right, we got a bunch of people on. It still says on my end, three people waiting. Scheduled for February 25th. Are we live? Can you guys see me? It's not freezing up, is it? I don't know why mine, I can see the comments, but um, let me see. I put my hand in front of the screen. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it still says, like, instead of how many people watching. Let me refresh the screen. It doesn't say how many people are watching. It just says three people waiting. That's so weird. All right. Let's refresh and see. what. Oh, it says 67. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody who's just joining Let's see who we have on here. Joni from Washington. Nice weather in New Mexico. North Dakota, Colorado. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I know she's not watching. My daughter doesn't ever watch <laughs> my videos. <laughs> and Ina, you won a card today. So I've got a few cards to give away in just a minute. So, um... I'll show you that. I've got some swaps to show you. And I got some happy mail that is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys that. And I'm totally going to copy the card. So that is fun. And um, this is what we're making tonight, except we're making five instead of three. So these were three of the cards that I made in my stamp a stack, stamp -a -stack class the other day. We did um, 12 cards. So we had four different cards. Three of each one, but this kind of counted as one of the cards. So um, instead of just making three of the exact same one, we did three different ones for that one. So um, just because I didn't have enough paper to go, because you know, you only get the six by six, you can only get two out of one sheet. So um, I did three different patterns, but we're going to do five different patterns tonight. So basically the same card, this part will be the same but the paper will be different. So these cards are so fast, you can whip them out in no time and put whatever sentiment you want on it. I've got Celebrate You on here, but we're gonna use three different ones tonight. Um, you can use the ones that come in the set. You can use the Thank You, the Sympathy, um, or this one, which I don't know where it's from. I've got a Happy Birthday. And, um, Let's see, we'll do those three tonight. So this is the stamp set that I'm using, the Seaside Bay, which I love, love, love. And um, somebody told me the dies were um, sold out right now. They're not orderable, but I'm not sure. I didn't check, but I love this stamp set. I love anything that has to do with the beach. So this was a definite, definite 
um, set for me to get. And the paper is absolutely amazing. Like every sheet in here is beautiful. And this is not a full pack because I've already used, I have five packs and I don't have one full pack because I used so much of uh, the paper already. But one side is embossed, one side is not. So you'll have a shiny side and a flat side. But it's just such pretty colors and I love this one right here. So it's so pretty. I love this wood grain too. And then we've got the, um, did we ever figure out? Those are mussels, I think. <laughs> mussels or clams, I don't know. Um, I know we sat there talking about that one night. And then this one actually has the birds on it and the crabs. You can die cut those right off the sheet. So you don't even have to color the bird for this one. But we're going to be coloring with the blender pen today to make it quick and easy. This is a good one for um, backgrounds. So you could just do a beach scene or something. I gotta sneeze. Ugh, I could just feel it coming. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Oh, you know when you gotta sneeze and you're trying not to and you're just like, ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So I finally had a chance to finish cutting all the paper for the card kits yesterday. And so those all went in the mail today. I'm so sorry they're late. Um, I just had a busy, busy week, so um, I was a little bit behind on doing those card kits, but they all went in the mail today, so I'll be sending out the directions for those. So that was from um, the first half of the month, and then if you're ordering the second half of the month, this is the card kit that you'll get. So supplies for these three cards, so those are so pretty. I think I should go ahead and just start cutting that now because it's going to take me a while. <laughs> So if your order is over $50 or more um, from now till the end of the month, which is Tuesday, and you use the host code, please don't forget that, um, you'll get the supplies to make these three cards. And then if your order is over $100, you'll also get the champagne rhinestones, which I used on the cards. So I was doing the card kit yesterday and I was using this ribbon and I got down to my last roll and I was like, oh, it came out close. I had just enough of that ribbon, so I ordered six more rolls today. So that's that. And also, if you order over $100, you get entered into the drawing for a $100 gift certificate from me because I'm trying to hit $700,000 this month for my career sales. So I am offering incentive to you guys. So if you place a $100 or more order and use the host code or $150 or more order, don't use the host code, and you get the free stuff. Um, so for every $1,000 of orders I get, I'm giving away a $100 gift certificate. So I'm already up to four. So I just got to 4,000. So I'm still 2,000 away from my goal, but I've still got three more days. So you guys still have time if you want to place an order to get into the drawing for the $100 gift um, certificate. So um, I would love to have you order from me. Um... And I would send you the card kits and all that stuff and you get entered into the drawing. And don't forget, celebration is almost over. We've only got three more days of celebration. So you cannot get um, the free stuff after Tuesday. And don't forget, it's a great time. If you haven't gotten everything you wanted to, it's a great time to stock up on your paper, your ribbon, your embellishments, anything you wanted to buy um, in there. So it's a great time to stock up on stuff if there's anything you wanted. And then March 1st, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. All right, let me show you this happy mail that I got. I think you guys can see it on the corner of my screen. So this is from Susan Trask. So she sent me this absolutely beautiful card and it is using the technique that I showed you guys the other day. And I think hers came out better than mine did. So. Um, this is one of the cards that I made the other day with this technique. So what I did was I did some watercolor painting on watercolor paper and then we let it dry. Then we put it through the embossing folder um, with gray ink on the embossing folder and ran it through. Then we took the white craft pad and just popped it really lightly on top of the raised areas and then um, sprayed it with the shimmer. And it, so she did the exact same technique and it came out absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love these colors. So um, Susan, I'm definitely gonna copy 
your idea and uh, maybe do it in a video because I think I definitely need to try this one out with the fern um, and the greens. I love, love, love it. So thank you so much for that card. I just absolutely love it. So there you go. So um, I did all mine in just different colors, all mixed together, but she did all the greens and I just think it came out so beautiful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So then I've also got some swap cards. So I got together with my girlfriend yesterday and we get together once a month and do a shoebox swap and um, everybody brings a project to make. And then um, usually we'll celebrate birthdays and have a potluck lunch and all that stuff. So um, that's what we did yesterday. So these are some of the projects. So this one was actually a gift um, my friend Lori Reed made for everybody. And it has chocolate inside. So it's just a little box with the queen bee with some truffles inside. So I thought that was so cute. I love, love, love this set. So thank you, Lori. That was a little gift from her. And then this card was from Joyce Daniel, I think. Let me see. What's that Joyce's card? Um, yeah, that was Joyce's card. All right, so this was Joyce Daniel. Um, she did this card for her shoebox swap, and it's a uh, fun fold. So I love it. I love the colors here together. This was my friend Colleen Magnus, and she's really um, attached to this stamp set. This light. I, mean, I didn't get it, but I think it's so cute. I love it. It's, um, I don't even know the name of it. I can't remember what the, does anybody remember what, I think it's Lighting the Way, but I'm not positive. But if anybody knows off the top of their head what the name of that stamp set is, let me know. But um, I don't know if you can see the shimmer on the, uh, what are they called? Lighting bugs, but so there's shimmer on there and there's shimmer in here. And I really think this is a cute set. I just didn't get it because I already have so much stuff that I still haven't even used but it's very cute. So thank you for that idea, Colleen. This is my friend, Michelle Burkett. She loves the animals and critters. She usually does um, cards with animals. So I thought this was cute with the little bunnies and you open it like that. So that's an Easter card. And then this is my um, upline, Melissa Ellis. She did this one, which is a fun fold. So it's got a little pocket here. Then you open it up and it's got a little mini card, note card there. So you just stick it in there like that. So I thought that was a really cute idea. And I love, love, love this paper. This is the one that's going to start March 1st. So if you're not a demonstrator, you can get this paper and stamp set starting March 1st. If you are a demonstrator, you can get it right now. And then this one is the paper that just sold out that everybody loves. So, oops, you know what? It's a fun fold and I forgot to glue mine. So it's supposed to be a book binding card and I forgot to glue mine down there. So... It's just a three by five, uh, no, yeah, three by five of the paper, and then it's book bind fold this way, and um, I can't believe I forgot to put the glue on there. <laughs> so it's supposed to be glued down, <laughs> but I forgot. <laughs> Here's another fun fold. So this is my friend Robin Warren, um, and this is a fun fold like that. So you have to have two sheets of paper for this one because one sheet goes here and then the other sheet is on the back so you can't can't do this out of one sheet you gotta have two and then you cut off that triangle off of each um piece but i thought that was a really cute card and i don't know what the name of that bird set is but um if anybody knows let me know yeah lighting the oh good lighting the way i was right so that is lighting the way so this one that colleen did was lighting the way all right, so there's all my little swaps from yesterday, and now I've got some cards to give away. So first one is Carol Alanis, or Alanis, I'm not sure how you say your last name. That's this one, which is the new stuff, which starts next week. Um, I'm trying to read some comments while I'm doing this. Let me stop for a minute and read some comments, because I know I've missed like a thousand that have gone by already. I don't know why my... My computer is not catching up. It's like the comments are not moving and it's still saying 67 people. So I don't know. Um, okay. At least I'm still not buffering or anything. Um, oh, hey, Joni. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Carol. Hey, Regina. You guys are so sweet. 
Um, just got this paper yesterday. It's so beautiful. Seaside colors on this cards are beautiful. Thank you. Um, hey, Betty. Hey, Sharon. Still working on joining order. Okay. Hope to have it done tomorrow. Great. Oh, that's the other thing. So also don't forget, I'm glad you just said that. So don't forget, you've also got three days to sign up and get that starter kit special. So that is like a fantastic deal. So you can get, let me see if I have it. Do I have it here? Here we are. Okay, so in the back of the celebration catalog, there's three options to join. And you don't have to do anything to join except just sign up. And once you sign up, you don't have to like have parties. You don't have to do anything. You can just get the kit and then you get a discount for up to six months and that's it. And then if you don't do anything, you just drop. So there's no obligation, but if you do stay active, you get your discount. So it's a great way to stock up on stuff. If you're new, um, stamper, or if you just want to get a discount, I would say most of the people who sign up under me are, um, discount shoppers. So they just do it for themselves. They don't do it to um, you know, as a business or anything, but you certainly can. So, oops. So there's three options. The first two include the little mini embossing machine. The, so it's exactly the same as the big one, but half the size. So the big one is six inches across. This one's three, a little bit more than three, like three and a quarter, maybe. Um, so you can either get the blue one or the white one, and then $175 of product, whatever you want. So make a list, whatever you want, $175 plus this, and you get it for $129, free shipping. So that's over $200 worth of stuff for $129. So that's a great deal. And then option three, if you don't want this, then you can get $175 of product for $99 and free shipping. So either way, it's a great deal. And there's only three days left to do that special and that's only during celebration. So if you are thinking about doing it and you have a big order, you might want to do that. All right. So Carol was the winner of this one. Um, Shirley Wright, you won this one, which was the lattice card that I did. So I'll, if you hear your name called, make sure you send me an email at stampgirl2 at cox.net. Um, Debbie Murphy, you won this one. And this was the one I did three um, of the same paper. Um, Ina, you won this one. I hope it's Ina and not Ina. I don't know. I can't remember. I know you told me, but I can't remember. Because I know there's another Ina. But I can't remember if, if both of you say your name the same. So you got this one with that really pretty ribbon that I ruched up in there. And Cam Reisner. Reisner. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, you won this one. And I think somebody told me that the school distress paper is back in stock. So you can get that now. So congratulations, girls. Um, just send me an email and I will stick it in the mail to you. So, all right, you guys ready to start stamping? Let me read some comments before we get going and um, see what everybody's saying. Let's see. All right, I'm good, not freezing. Loud and clear, that's awesome. Okay, let these cards, oops, I went back too far. Muscles, yeah, they're muscles in that paper. I thought it was, I just can't remember stuff, you know. Um, hey, Donna, I have not hit 6,000, so I need, you can't see anything, what? Nope, I'm at 4,000 right now, so I got a couple more to go. And only three days, so you guys gotta put your orders in if you wanna get into that drawing. Let's see. My daughter went to Ottawa last weekend, took my car because they have an e-car. Electric. I've seen a lot of stuff about electric cars lately that makes me think, uh, well, one, I can't afford one because they're very expensive, but one of the doctors at work has a Tesla and he loves it, but I don't know. I, I like my car just fine. <laughs> um, I haven't seen, Sp oh, there's Spice Girl. Hey, Spice Girl. Hey, Cindy. Hello from the Cat Skills of New York. I don't even know where that is. Cat Skills. Is that like northern New York, upstate? Um, let me see. Okay. I think I'm 
about caught up. Cute box. Still out of, oh, still out of stock. That gold, gold distress. Somebody told me the other day that it was back in stock. Um, let me see. How's it going? Somebody's having Mexican food. Let me see if your friend is in a current. Yeah, the mini machine, I love the mini machine because I can keep it on the table with me and do it um, right at the table instead of getting up and going into the kitchen where my big one is. So I love the little one. You can fit almost anything in there except for the embossing folders. Almost all of the dies fit in there. So, oh good, Ina, I said it right. Oh, wait a minute, Ina. Oh, it's Ina, I said it wrong. Okay, so Ina, sorry about that. So we have another Ina on here that she's Ina and you're Ina. I gotta remember that. All right, so I think I caught up for everybody. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna do five different ones, but they're basically all the same. So we've got five of the white, um, eight and a half by five and a half. And somehow I got crooked again. Let me see, I'll try and straighten it out. All right, so five of those, five of the balmy blue, um, five and a quarter by four and then I've got five pieces here um, So I just picked out five different pieces pretty much almost every single piece in there Except for like a couple go with balmy blue and most of them also go with night of navy So you could use either one for your back piece and it would match fine So those are five and a quarter by three. So you got two out of each sheet So that there's five of those I'll put them down here and then you need five Knight of Navy. That's three and a half by two and three quarters. And five of the white, two and a half by three. So five of everything. I don't know why I'm still crooked. Let me see. There we go. Hopefully that fixed it. Love all the food here. Congrats to the winners. Good morning. Okay. Huh. Good thing you don't have to spell it in order to be able to order it. <laughs> yeah, I think Chili Rayanos is uh, not spelled right. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you got a screenshot of that. And if you do not know how to take a screenshot, you need to go to YouTube and search, how do I do a screenshot with my cell phone? And put in whatever cell phone you have. All right. So I stamped the inside with these little shells too so let me show you that so this is what i did on the inside we'll do that in a second so i think the first thing i'm going to do is stamp my words so i'm going to do a couple different ones and you need to do these first because you don't want to do your bird first and then not have room to do your words so all the words are going to go on with knight of navy so we've got knight of navy ink i'm gonna do a couple happy birthday and we're going to do it in the top left corner because you want to make sure you got enough room for your bird. And I think the happy birthday is from Go To Greetings, not positive because I never know where my words come from. I'll do a sympathy one and oops, kind of went off the page just a little bit. And then we got Celebrate You and this is a juicy pad. Okay, celebrate you. I love that one. This is one of my favorite ones. That's why I use it all the time. And I don't know where it comes from. But I love it. All right, so words are done. Now we're going to go back and do the bird. So our bird is also a knight of navy. So we're just going to stamp the bird right in the middle. And I kind of, it's hard to figure out which way he goes. Because you want his legs to be kind of straight. But if you do that, then he looks like he's going to fall over. So I do his legs just a little bit crooked because <laughs> well I don't know I guess maybe that is how their legs go I don't know all right just got to make sure you don't get over top of your words so yesterday when I was cutting paper all day which really I literally cut paper all day long yesterday um I was catching up on some of my shows that I taped and um American Idol started so are any of you guys American Idol fans 
I'm, I love American Idol. I didn't used to ever watch it back when it was, um, what's his name? Simon and Randy and Paula and them. I didn't like, I didn't like them too much. I really didn't like Simon. Um, so, but now it's Katy Perry and, um, Luke Bryant and, uh, Lionel Richie. And they're so nice. You know, Simon was always such a jerk. I just didn't want to watch it. So this is just a blender pen and there's nothing in it except glycerin. So you don't need ink. It's just going to just blend the ink that's already on here with the bird. So we're just making this a blue bird. If you wanted to, you could take like a little bit of um, crumb cake and put it in here, but I'm just going to leave him blue. We're just trying to go for simple, quick and easy. So anyway, I was watching the first episode um, yesterday and one of the girls who was trying out, um, she was like a Christian singer and her dad is also like a Christian singer, which is what I listen to. You know, I listen to K-Love basically or The Message pretty much all day when I'm at home or in the car unless I'm watching TV or something, but... Like when I'm just in my stamp room work and I listen to the music. And so anyway, she sang a song, um, one of my favorite songs by Lauren Daigle. And Lauren Daigle just happened to be, this was in Vegas. She just happened to be doing a show in Vegas. So she came by to surprise the girl who was singing the song, her song. And so the girl's like trying out and she's singing. And all of a sudden Lauren Daigle walks in and starts singing it with her. And like nobody knew she was coming. Um, so it was so funny cause the girl just like flipped out cause she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. So then the two of them sang it together and it was so cute. And of course the girl got to go. There was some really talented, you know what I like now is they hardly ever, you know, in the very beginning of, um, American Idol, they used to show all the really, really bad singers. And now they really don't do that. Almost everybody who is on there gets to go to Hollywood. So they don't show all the bad ones anymore. I mean, a few of them don't get it, but they're not that bad, really. A little bit bad, but they don't show like, some of them used to be horrible. So I'm glad they stopped doing that because that was kind of embarrassing, I think. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna stamp these shells on the bottom. So I'm gonna be using crumb cake. I don't know why I got my balmy blue out. So crumb cake for the shells. And we're just gonna stamp that down at the bottom twice. And there you go. Super easy peasy so far. There you go. So I didn't read the comments. Is anybody watching it? Hold on, let me go back. Simon is better now that he has his own son. Yeah. I've seen him on like, uh, what is that other show? America's Got Talent or something. And he's kind of mellowed out a little bit because he used to be a total jerk. Um, happy birthday is from Flowing Flowers. Oh, that's another one of my favorite sets and it retired. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I need to put the stamp set away. Well, the one that's in Go To Greetings looks kind of similar to that, I think. So you could just swap it out. I can't believe that that flowing flowers was one of my favorite sets too. I just can't seem to part with them, but that's the problem. I get stamps out, leave them on my table and, um, I have a big giant block, you know, the big, big clear block. I have that sitting on my table. So when I take words off, I just put them, I take them off of like the little blocks, put them on that big block and then just save it for next time I need a a birthday or a whatever. So then I don't have to go searching for my words. And, uh, but then <laughs> when it's time to retire, then I can't ever find the stamps I'm looking for to put back in the box. So I need to be more organized. But I have so many stamps, it's hard to find stuff. Like when you're looking and you're thinking, oh, I need this. And then you're like, what stamp set was that in? And then you gotta go look through the catalog, figure out what stamp set it was in. So it just takes too much time. Okay. 
Let me see. Use the watercolor blender pen with my watercolor pencils. Yes. I love the blender pen with the watercolor pencils. Oh, Julie loves Caleb. It's awesome. Awesome. That bird looks like a plover. I don't know what a plover is, but I just liked it in Night of Navy. Because the one that's in the paper is Night of Navy, so I just made it Night of Navy. And then just colored it. But you can put a little bit more color if you want to add some something to it. You can. All right, so insides are done. So all we got left to do is sponge. So we're gonna sponge with balmy blue. And hopefully, I've got some ink in this one. I had to go grab another one because the one I had was like almost out of ink. Um, Joan had chili for dinner. I had crackers and cheese for dinner. I don't know why, I just wasn't, well actually I think my um, shots I'm getting have started working today because I was not hungry all day long. I had a bagel for breakfast, and then I wasn't hungry all day, and I kind of uh, felt a little bit nauseous, but um, I laughed when you said, you don't have to go searching for your words. I don't picture you being at a loss for words. <laughs> Lucy, yeah, I'm talking about stamped words. <laughs> so like when I finish with this, I just peel it off, put it on my big block that's on my table, and that way, whenever I need a word, I just look at the big block and I'm like, okay, I'll use that one. That's why I never know what stamp set they're from because they're just always sitting on my table. Um, and you live near the Chesapeake Bay. Yay. That's right. You're in Virginia Beach, aren't you? I think. Um, I need to lose weight, though. I definitely need to lose weight. Um, so I, if you guys hadn't heard me talking about it already, this one's almost dry too. I need to get the refill. Okay. So we're sponging balmy blue just on the top part. Well, you could do the whole thing, but my balmy blue is a little bit on the dry side. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, but anyway, I started going to this like weight loss place and I'm getting that Wagobi shot. And so I did it for a month and didn't lose like anything. And it really wasn't working. I didn't see like any difference. In fact, I almost felt like I was more hungry. So they upped my dose uh, a couple days ago. And um, so yesterday I wasn't very hungry, but today I was definitely like, I ate breakfast and I wasn't even hungry for breakfast. And then all day long, I wasn't hungry. But I was kind of feeling just a little bit nauseous. And that's one of the side effects of it. So that's one reason I didn't want to eat anything. But I thought I better eat something or else I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and be starving. So I just ate some cheese and crackers. So. <sighs> Hopefully it'll start working and I'll start losing weight. So I can get in a bathing suit by summer. Although yesterday I was sitting out in the sun because it was gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I wasn't wearing a bathing suit, but I was sitting on my back deck in shorts and a tank top. And it felt so good. I don't know what it is about. I'm like addicted to the sun. When it's sunny outside, I just want to sit and just bask in the sun. It just feels so good especially after winter. And today it was just so gross and cold. I got my heat back on. Okay, so that is it. Let me read comments real quick. Um, Joanne says, I was looking for the aspen tree dyes, could not find it for over a week. Finally found what set it was in. <laughs> yes, it, it would definitely, well, it does help now that Stampin' Up! has started naming the stamp set and the dyes the same. That does help a lot. Um... Yes, you definitely need to buy the refills when you buy the ink pads. Oh, don't forget too. So next month in about two weeks, I think, I think around March 16th, maybe, the retiring list comes out for the big catalog. And you know, whenever that happens, all of the in color stuff sells out like right away. So if there's any refills or anything with the in colors you want, you better get it right now because as soon as that retiring list comes out, it's going to be gone. Um, let's see. Hello from Oregon, where it's cold. 
I saw somewhere, I think it was Arizona, it's actually colder than it was here. 75 in West Virginia and 45 Friday today, 53. Yeah, it was 75 yesterday and then like 45 to 50 today. Um, how can you tell we're getting old? Three people bit. <laughs> Spice Girl says, how can you tell you're getting old when you go to an antique auction and three people bid on you? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right. So let's put this together. So I'm going to do this piece onto the blue first. So we'll just flip them all over. And so I am using the front and the back of some of them. So we'll have one with the front, one with the back. And we're just going to put it a little bit, not right on the edge, but a little bit over. And I like to do this first because if any of mine are off a little bit, then I can always trim it. So this side is embossed. I don't know if you can see that shiny part. But sometimes my paper just is like a sliver over the edge. So I always like to do that before I put it on the, the back piece. So, did anybody go watch that girl I was telling you about, um, Tanera Double Chocolate? She, I saw her. <laughs> she is so funny. She's on YouTube, and she um, always, she like puts herself in front of these cooking videos that have horrible, they're making something horrible, and she'll just comment on it, and I swear it's like hysterical. I was just watching one before I started my video and I was just cracking up. She's so funny. All right, this one I think is a sliver over. All right, you know what else I watched yesterday? I have a new favorite show. I think I mentioned this before. It's called um, Alert Missing... Uh-oh. Oh, there's one. I missed one. Alert Missing, Missing Persons Unit. And it's really, really good. You have to watch it from the beginning, though, because it's like about, I think there's been about five episodes, maybe. But it's about um, this lady and, well, her ex-husband. And they both work at the missing, per missing persons unit um, looking for, you know, people that are, like, kidnapped or abducted or whatever. And their son was abducted, like, years and years ago. And I'm not going to tell you what happens in case you start watching it, but it's really, really good. So it got like, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on right now because you don't know like if, uh, well, I can't even tell you because if I tell you, then that'll ruin it, but it's good. And another one I like that's been on and it kind of went off for like a month or two is coming back is that Alaska Daily. That's a really good show too. I think a lot of them are getting ready to start back up. Like my uh 911 Lone Star, that's a good one. Oh, good to know. Thanks. Love this thing. <laughs> Donna says, y'all need to stop saying it's cold. It's negative 20, it, no, it's 25 degrees in New York right now. 25, ooh, burr. That just makes me want to shiver. I had the heat on today though, ugh. Went from, I did not turn my air condition on. I really wanted to because the house got up to like 73 and I was sweating, but I turned the fan on and I said, okay, I'll just suffer through it because I'm not turning the air condition on in February. But if it had gone one more day of heat, I probably would have had to turn it on. All right, so we're just going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece and put the blue one onto the white. I've got a good joke for you guys tonight if you stick around till the end. I keep finding so many. I have like 10, but I have to tell you, maybe we'll do two tonight. But um, I joined a few of these little, like, I guess they're Facebook groups that are all about jokes. So now I get them, like, constantly. And then you guys are also, a lot of people are sending me some, too. 
Um, what are you watching these shows on? Yeah, shows are regular TV. So the ones that I'm watching now are all current shows that are on regular TV. Um, American Idol, I think it's on ABC. And I can't remember. I, I want to say Fox is that alert one, but I'm not positive. Oh, no. I just realized I did the same one twice. Darn it. Uh oh. Oh no! I did. <laughs> oh, dang! I did two of them the wrong side. How did I do that? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. So I meant to use the back of these two, and I didn't. Let me see. Well, it's too late now. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Let's see if I still have some. The other side. Do I? Yes, so that one's supposed to go there, and that one's supposed to go there. So let me get out two more. Sorry, folks. I was talking and not paying attention, so we'll just have to do two more. So let me take these two away and do these two. I put the glue on the wrong side, so there we go. It's so hard to put it on this side because this side's so pretty, though. Okay, don't walk and chew gum at the same time because then you might mess up. All right, so there we go. Easy fix, I brought some more extras. Okay, there we go. Not like you'll be sending the cards to all the same person. I know, but I wanted to show you guys like um, all the different ones. There's actually more pieces you could even make because I was gonna do 10 cards tonight but like I told you, I wasn't feeling like super great. So I said, I'm just going to do five because this would be an easy 10 cards in 30 minutes. Super easy. Oh, okay. I want that. <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> that would have been funny if I did it three times with the same pattern. Oh, what a day. What a day. Um, let me see. Anything else I got to talk about? Um, nope, that's it. I'm done talking. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves the rest of the video. <laughs> yeah, now I have two, two um, cards for another thing already done. So this one's going to go on with dimensionals. Donna says, not an American Idol fan, not a... <gasps> you don't like Katy Perry all... I love her. I think she's sweet, but um, I mean, I don't know her personally or anything, but I love her music. And I think she's really pretty, but I love her, her songs. So, let me see. Don't flip the beautiful muscles. Oh, I know it's hard. It's hard to to put um, glue on the embossed side because it is pretty. With this paper, it's hard because both sides are pretty of almost every piece. Like, it's really hard to, and I hate it when that happens because it seems like with all the designer papers, it's like they're either both sides are gorgeous or both sides are not. You know, like if there's a couple pieces in there that you don't like, then the back is also one you don't like, but. And then if there's like your favorite side, then the back of it is also your favorite one. So it's hard because sometimes I just hate to put the glue on the back because then you're just like, oh, what a waste. I wish, I wish sometimes you could just buy a pack. Well, actually we used to do that. They used to sell in bulk, like the most popular pieces from a, um, a pack. Like when we had the Magnolia paper. Anybody remember that? What was it called? Something Magnolia. Um, and the demonstrators could buy the pack that had just, it was like two sheets. And it was, I think you got 20, 20 sheets total. And there was like, so 10 of two different sheets. And it was really, really pretty. And it was great if you're a demonstrator and you do classes. Because then you didn't have to buy, like I have to buy five packs of paper to have enough for my classes because you don't get an, you only get two sheets in a pack 
or you know if it's six by six you get four but they're little so I have to buy a bunch so it was really nice but I think um you know people were buying it and then letting their get you know they were buying it for customers and so stamping up stop doing that so that was a bummer but there we go but yeah we used to be able to buy stuff in bulk like um long time ago probably about mm, almost 10 years ago we could buy a ton of stuff in bulk okay so there we go and then i'm just going to take the shimmer spray and shimmer all these and then get all these little pieces of dimensionals and the garbage all right so i'm going to get a scrap paper and i'm really liking this one i got on amazon it's like, I think, more shimmery than the one I made. And if you did order this one from Amazon and it is like a little gloppy or anything, just put a little bit of alcohol in it and it should fix it. Mine's not. Mine comes out perfect, but... Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Okay. So there we go. There's the five different ones. So now you have all five, and they all just go perfect with that balmy blue, don't they? And the bird. So there you go. All right, let me read some comments, then we'll do our jokes. I need a secretary. I need a secretary, too. Let me see. Shim, shim, shimma. Shimma. What do you guys think? Did y'all give me a thumbs up yet? I'm seeing... Well, it still says 67 people watching. <laughs> All right, I just gave myself a thumbs up. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm all the way at the... Now I can't see the comments. Okay, there we go. Love the cards. One of my favorite videos is still when you had forgotten... To <laughs> I forgot the shimmer spray and I did pretend. I know occasionally... Actually, I put one in here so I wouldn't forget it anymore. Um... Beautiful set to give us a gift. Yeah. Oh, that would be a great idea. So you could make like a folder or a box and put these all together and then decorate the front. That would be an awesome idea for a gift. Love it. And you could put five different sayings if you want to. Put all different ones. Make a assortment. 170 watching. Oh, good. Okay. So let me tell you my jokes. Hold on a second. And let me get that screen up. All right, so this is a funny one. All right, so the IRS decides to audit Grandpa and summons him to the IRS office. The IRS auditor was not surprised when Grandpa showed up with his attorney. The auditor said, well, sir, you have an extravagant lifestyle, lifestyle and no full-time employment, which you explain by saying that you win money gambling. I'm not sure the IRS finds that believable. I'm a great gambler, and I can prove it, says Grandpa. How about a demonstration? The auditor thinks for a moment and says, okay, go ahead. Grandpa says, I'll bet you $1,000 that I can bite my own eye. The auditor thinks for a moment and says, okay, it's a bet. So Grandpa removes his glass eye and bites it. The auditor's jaw drops. Grandpa says, okay, now I'll bet you $2,000 that I can bite my other eye. The auditor can tell Grandpa isn't blind, so he takes the bet. Grandpa removes his dentures and bites his good eye. The stunned auditor now realizes he has wagered and lost three grand with Grandpa's attorney as a witness. He starts to get nervous. I want to go double or nothing, Grandpa asks. I'll bet you $6,000 that I can stand on one side of your desk and pee into that wastebasket on the other side and never get a drop anywhere in between. The auditor, twice burned, is cautious now, but he looks carefully and decides there's no way this old guy could possibly manage that stunt. So he agrees again. Grandpa stands behind, beside the desk and unzips his pants. But although he strains mightily, he can't make the stream reach the wastebasket on the other side. So he pretty much just urinates all over the auditor's desks, desk. The auditor leaps with joy, realizing that he has just <laughs> turned a major loss into a huge win. But Grandpa's attorney moans and puts his head in his hands. Are you okay? The auditor asks. Not really, said the attorney. This morning when Grandpa told me he'd, be, he'd been summoned for an audit, he bet me $25,000 that he could come in here pee all over your desk and that you'd be happy about it. Don't mess with old people. <laughs> I love that. 
All right, let me find another real quick one for you. So you can have double laughs tonight since my video was a little bit short. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, this one's kind of funny. All right, called Walmart today to see when my W-2 would be in, and they gave me a 1-800 number to call. I called, and after giving the lady my information, she said she couldn't find me. She asked what my employee, employee number was, and I told her I had no clue. She asked who my supervisor was, and I said I wasn't sure about that either. Then she asked what department I worked in, and I informed her that I believe that I'm a self-checkout cashier. I can't believe she hung up on me. Such unprofessionalism from the corporate office. <laughs> I need to call Walmart and see if I have a W-2 there too. <laughs> Not really, because I don't go there anymore. <laughs> Since they turned self-checkout, I stopped going to Walmart. So I get mine delivered. All right, you guys, that is it for Saturday night, date night. So I hope you guys loved the um, cards and the jokes. Bathroom renovation is done. They finished on Tuesday. So that is done finally. So it looks good. I posted pictures on Facebook. So if you haven't seen the pictures, go to Facebook. It's under my regular Facebook page, Lisa Freeman. And you can find it there. And my middle name is Brooke. So it's Lisa Brooke Freeman. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for date night. And I'll be back Tuesday. And hopefully I'll have a new technique for you Tuesday. I was going to do a technique today, but then I didn't feel good. So I just did this. So. All right, I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, just started snowing for Cindy. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and place an order. Thank you. Bye-bye.